G'day everyone, welcome back to True Footy for round 20. The season is creeping further and further away from us. Luckily we've got an extra round this year to enjoy still another four games, five games of AFL football. But it is that exciting time of the year where uh, clubs are playing off for obviously their spots in the top eight. And we've seen a lot of movement in the top eight uh, this week. In fact, with GWS and Carlton really not only finding their way into the top eight, but also looking like some of the more informed teams of the competition. And as a result, I think... I think we might see a few roughies this week. To give you the lowdown on how I did in my footy tipping this week, I got six out of a possible nine. I got three tips wrong. Two out of the three tips, I think I actually tipped the opposite in the Just the Tips video and, you know, either just changed my mind or forgot what I said in the video and I went the opposite and in both cases I got that wrong. So I wanted to tip Brisbane. I think I tipped Brisbane in the video and I tipped Geelong and obviously got that one wrong. And the other one was Port versus Collingwood. I actually can't remember who I tipped in the video, but on here, I tipped Port Adelaide and got that wrong. And I'm Unfortunately, that was just an unbelievable, thrilling game. And then I also backed Fremantle in to beat Sydney, and they got well beaten, to be honest, in Perth. We are, of course, going to be tipping at round 20 on Squiggle. But before we do that, guys, a shout out from our sponsors, Manscaped.com, who, of course, will bring you all the best products in the world of male grooming. If you want to either level up or begin your male grooming routine, Manscaped is a great place to go to have a little browse and see all the different variety of products that they actually offer. Everything from the actual body hair trimmers to some of the aftershave sort of stuff in terms of colognes, moisturizers, crop revivers, ball deodorants, everything you can possibly imagine that might be able to help you particularly on a night out. So do yourselves a favor, head to the website manscaped.com and use the code TRUEFOOTY20 for 20% off and free shipping. It's a great benefit. Make sure you get stuck in. Do yourselves a favor and check out the website and of course, use that code for that great discount. All right, here we are for Squiggle and uh, obviously the first game is going to be an absolute cracker, Collingwood versus Carlton. But if we just have a look at the ladder here, uh, actually Carlton is outside the eight. That's of course because St Kilda hung on to beat North Melbourne in the end, um, which was... Very, very close to being a really, really big upset. But St Kilda still find themselves in sixth. I still think they're really horribly out of form. Uh, but Carlton find themselves in ninth. GWS up in seventh. That's sort of more reflective of the form that they've really put in. Um, and the Bulldogs hanging into the top four race, although very, very narrowly when that percentage is not great as well. So they're probably going to find it very, very tough to crack the top four, but a home elimination final is certainly on the cards potentially for them. Uh, Richmond in 10th, Essendon dropped down to 11th. Adelaide down in 13th is uh, is a big fall from grace. Obviously, they were fantastic against Melbourne, nearly won that game. I thought that game would be a close game and they didn't disappoint and their percentage is still really healthy. So they just need to jag a couple of wins and they're potentially back in the eight with that really good percentage. But we'll crack into Collingwood versus Carlton. This is always a big game purely because of the rivalry between two of the bigger fan base is in the league um, and obviously the historic rivalry that they have but of course in round 23 of last year they had that epic finish to the season where Collingwood got the better of Carlton and Carlton will be out for revenge in this game and it's coming at a good time for Carlton they've played you know the last five games They've won by a margin of 50 plus points, most recently against West Coast, where they probably could have won by more if they didn't have the injury issues that they did in that game. Probably a combination of that and coasting against a team that wasn't really giving them much too much trouble. Although to be fair to West Coast, we did see a much better effort in the second half. Collingwood just got the job done against Adla uh, Port Adelaide in Adelaide, winning close games as, as so often Collingwood have done. Um, and that's why I do wonder if they're a bit vulnerable in this game. But I have been saying that about Collingwood after every big emotional close win that they've had over the last two years. The general rule is after a big win like that, they're more likely to be flat the next week. They've also got a two win buffer on Port Adelaide here. So I do think there's a chance we see a Carlton come out and surprise Collingwood, but I am kind of sick of saying that every week about Collingwood, and I'm sure their fans are too, because I feel like a loss has got to come at some point. And Carlton are one of the better form teams in the comp, but Collingwood really haven't shown me too many examples of where they're flat, to be honest. They've had two losses this year, but this is going to be a big game. Big, uh, it's a it's a big game in the sense it'll be a big full house Collingwood home game. Collingwood will win this. Uh, they'll probably win it narrowly just to fuck with Carlton. Geelong versus Frio at GMHBA. This would be a more interesting game if Fremantle haven't had the ass fall out of their season um, in recent times. Most recently, that loss uh, against Sydney at home, which was uh, apparently the mathematical final in the sense that, yeah, the, whoever lost that is now out of the race, really. Actually, I don't think that's quite true. I think technically Fremantle can make it. But either way, they've broken the back of their season now. Um, and, you know, if they were in form, GMHBA, we know that they can play there well. Um, and so they're technically kind of still a chance here, but they're getting Geelong 
at the point of the year where every win counts. And yes, Geelong lost to Brisbane last week, but Brisbane is one of the best teams in the competition, and there's no shame in that. So I still think we'll see a Geelong that's switched on to some extent, and it will even Fremantle's best, I don't think, will beat Geelong when they're fully switched on. So I will say Geelong actually win this by a healthy 42 points. Bulldogs versus GWS at Mars Stadium in Ballarat, I think. I think that is that what Eureka, Eureka Stadium is? I had to look that up, and yes, it is. Uh, so the Bulldogs here, sixth versus eighth. This is always a generally a fiery contest between two sides with a bit of a historic rivalry dating back over the last eight years or so. The Bulldogs had a good win against Essendon on the on Friday night. It was they faced a uh, you know a finals contender in Essendon in a sort of elimination final preview was kind of billed as potentially, although Essendon now sit. 11th and they've got a similar battle this week in GWS 6 versus 8 but I think GWS offers a tougher opponent than Essendon do on current form and that's more out of respect for how good GWS have played in recent weeks probably a top 6 side on form Bont was really really good against the Dons I think uh, that was a typical classy performance from him. They're generally pretty strong at Mars. That being said, GWS have uh, won six on the bounce, I think, and their most recent one was a seven-goal win over Gold Coast. I'm tipping an upset here. I think this will be the first roughie here. The Bulldogs are a very strong team, but I think the Giants, in their current form, are going to be too hard to beat, and I think the Giants win an upset win here by 10 points. Then we've got the Q Clash, the Queensland derby between the Gold Coast Suns and the Brisbane Lions. I don't know how much I really need to analyze this game. I feel very confident that this Gold Coast side, yeah, they could play well and make this a tough contest. It is at Metricon or Heritage Bank as it's known now. The most recent loss was a 40-point loss against the Giants. Again, they're pretty in pretty good form. And Gold Coast have been pretty eclectic this year. You know, some weeks they're good, some weeks they're pretty poor. There doesn't seem to be a lot of middle ground with the Gold Coast Suns. And the Brisbane Lions are red hot right now. Save for, you know, that last gasp loss against Melbourne. They have looked shit hot and most recently were too good for Geelong by 12 points last week. So I'm not going to waste too much time talking about this game. I'll tip the Brisbane Lions by a healthy 46 points. Essendon versus Sydney. This will be good. So it's 11th versus 12th. And uh, Essendon is is certainly one of those those teams outside the eight that could look comfortable playing finals this year. I think they've been good, but most recently failed an important test against the Bulldogs, losing by five goals. I think it was, in fact, I think it was 41 points. Sydney, on the other hand, they have just beaten Fremantle comfortably in Perth. And, you know, this is the same thing again. Their best form has been good and their worst form has been really poor. This is a tough one. I actually think these two sides have a tendency to always play in thrillers. It's, of course, an Essendon at home game. I think the Swans are going to win this narrowly to be honest more so because I just expect Sydney will the good Sydney will come out this week and uh, and the, the good Sydney is pretty damn good so I'll say they win this game by four points I'm um, calling this to be a thriller Adelaide versus Port Adelaide at the um, Adelaide Oval obviously surprise surprise it is third versus 13th last time they met the Crows surprised us a little bit with a really polished performance in one by five goals and it is their home game now in this fixture and they do have a tendency to beat the power but you know the power have lost two of their last three or so in fact I think it's two on the bounce they lost to Carlton by 50 they lost to Collingwood narrowly um, but two of the better form sides of the competition and even though Adelaide have been good at times this year we have we are a few uh, weeks maybe even a month removed from some of their best footy I don't know the fact that this is a rivalry game makes me think we may see the Crows bob up and win it but I think I'm just going to add a respect tip the team that has been better this year and that's obviously Port Adelaide and I don't think Port Adelaide will let this slip it is possible I, I'm not that confident I think I'm 60-40 confident Port Adelaide will win this uh, let's say the power win this by 14 points I think it means more to them but who knows in these showdown games so I'm not confident about it Port Adelaide by 14 Hawthorne versus St Kilda is an interesting one at Marvel Stadium it is 16th versus 8th and surprisingly, I'm leaning towards the 16th ranked side. Hawthorne last week, uh, you know, had their hearts broken by Richmond, who were playing for their season, admittedly, and uh, had a clutch win with Liam Baker stealing a late winner. But I think, you know, if Richmond is... If Hawthorne have proven they're not far off the Richmond level, I still think that's exceeding St Kilda right now. The Saints obviously nearly lost to North Melbourne, and that's a real sign of how far they've fallen. Sure, North played you know well, but there's no secret St Kilda is in horrible form at the moment, and they're hanging onto their season by the skin of their teeth. And this is must win. I just I don't think they're going to win though. Hawthorne have had a few close losses. You know, I think it was Adelaide GWS and uh, most recently Richmond. If they hang on to those games, suddenly they're up there with Adelaide in terms of um, not being that far off the finals. So yeah, it's weird where 16th is playing 8th, but I feel strangely really confident that Hawthorne is going to win this game. They've already beaten them there, uh, this year, and so I think they'll double down on that and win by a healthy 28 points. 
Richmond versus Melbourne at the MCG. This should be a good game. Richmond still narrowly in the hunt for finals, particularly if they win this game. And if they win healthily, they'll be above St Kilda. Most recently had that uh, you know season-saving victory with a late surge against the Hawks to get the job done. They've won, I don't even know, six of the last seven or something like that. They're going pretty, pretty well. Melbourne, on the other hand, um, you know, did well to stave off a fast-finishing Adelaide side. And that was a great game. Adelaide, as an aside, have proven they can play the MCG against good teams, which is uh, a foreboding sign for the future. Both of these sides, this is, is, is a must-win because um, you know, Melbourne's are still playing for that top four and potentially top two, although pretty much top four now. And Richmond need to win to stay in the finals hunt. But I think Melbourne will are the better team and I'll be surprised if Richmond win. But it will throw a real spanner in the works if Richmond do win this game. But D's by 25, let's call it. And then the final game of the round is arguably the best. Um, three wins between these two sides. Uh, you know what? It is seven wins between these two sides across the last two years, isn't that shameful? They call it the Priority Pick Cup. Um, no, not really. It's not even really the Harley Reid Cup because I don't think even if West Coast won this game, it would influence the Auden Spoon race. But I'm at a loss here, to be honest, who to tip. Uh, West Coast were really poor in the first half against Carlton and then the second half was quite encouraging. Uh, they won the second half by two goals. Probably some mitigating factors there, Carlton's injuries, um, etc. But North were quite encouraging against St Kilda and probably should have won the game. Uh, they probably should have closed it out a little bit better than they did. And uh, But still, you know, an encouraging performance. And they're still, what's 18% ahead of West Coast on the ladder. That's how big the gap has been. Look, this is the West Coast last winnable game for the year. And it's probably that's probably true of, of North Melbourne as well. So by that logic, both of these teams will come at this full of belief, I think. Both of these sides will think they're a sniff in this game, and that can do wonders for a team's confidence. West Coast have the benefit of a home crowd. There is there is logic to West Coast winning this game, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't tip them. I just can't tip them. I'm going to tip North by 10 points. I know that's heartbreaking. I know the temptation is there to tip my home, my, my favorite team here, but I think it'll be a good game, or at least a thrilling game, and North will be too good. And, and to be honest, North's best this year has been better than the Eagles. It has been a long time since we've seen it, but that's true of both teams. So I'll say North Melbourne by 10 points. So there you go, guys. That is the ladder at the end of round 20, if I get all my tips right. Uh, so West Coast, <laughs> West Coast percentage went up against Carlton, and they lost by 71 points. And uh, now it's trickled over 50 if they only lose by 10 points to North Melbourne. Uh, but anyway, we won't focus on them. The bottom four stays the same. Adelaide's still in 13th. Essendon down to 12th. St Kilda still in the 8, hanging by a thread, even though I tipped them to lose to Hawthorne this week. GWS up in 5th. So if GWS shock the Bulldogs, which is my tip, they will go to 5th. Other than that, things are pretty much the same, but it is going to be an interesting round, guys. A few roughies tipped in that. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments section below. As always, I welcome your insights and opinions on our various teams in this round. So thank you very much for watching, guys. As you're watching this, I am in Edinburgh right now, um, living it up. But I'll be back by the weekend. I'm going to be back for West Coast versus North Melbourne. And um, then I'll be back for my depressing video afterwards about how much the Eagles suck. But as always, appreciate you watching the content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.